Hi everyone, I am Kelly Schaffner. Welcome to my channel. I have a bins haul to share with you. Everything you see behind me, I picked up at the Goodwill Outlet Clearance Center, also known as the Goodwill Bins, where you pay by the pound, and I picked up everything I'm going to share with you today in Phoenix, Arizona. I just recently returned from a little vacation in Phoenix, visiting family, and you guys know, I went to the bins. I'm an online reseller, so I am always looking for women's pre-loved shoes and clothing to resell. That's how I make my living. I resell on Poshmark and eBay, and I am going to share with you the first bit of clothing that I picked up at the Goodwill Outlet bins, but today's video is a special video, guys, because I am collaborating with my friend Frances here on YouTube. She has a channel named after after herself, Frances Kleinsmith, and I am going to link her channel in the description box below. And as soon as you have finished watching this video, please go check out Frances's video. Frances does a lot of thrifting at the bins in Seattle. Frances brings home massive thrift hauls from the bins in Seattle. She finds the best stuff. I love watching her video, so it is such a treat to collaborate with Frances today. I actually reached out to her and said, hey, do you want have a competition and see who can be the queen of the bins, who can be crowned the bins queens. And guys, I am three times Frances's age. She has a lot of energy because not only does she thrift massive amounts of inventory, she lists it as well. Frances and I have worked together on listing challenges and that girl can list. She is really serious about her reselling business. She is a wealth of information. I know you are going to enjoy Frances. And if you are visiting my my channel from Francis's channel. I want to welcome you. Thank you so much for joining me today. I sure hope that you will subscribe and join me for a future video. Guys, I'm going to jump right into this. The challenge that Francis and I set upon one another was one round. I am only going to share one rotation. At Phoenix, they rotate the bins about every 90 minutes. So this is everything that I found. I'm going to insert a picture of my entire haul. I'll put it right here. We took my husband's truck to Phoenix instead of my car. So we, after the first day of thrifting, I packed everything into these cardboard boxes so they would travel better in the truck on the way home. So this is what I found in the first round and I'm going to share it with you. And guys, I have not even begun to process this haul. Some of the stuff that I picked up in Phoenix, I picked up to take to the buy sell trade store. I don't normally sell men's pieces and this is a men's piece that the buy sell trade store, it will likely take from me. This is a Tommy Bahama size large, just a polo striped shirt. And um, okay, this is all. Oh, I got this for my brother-in-law. So if my sister is watching right now, let me know if uh, Gary would like this. This is mossy oak and this is a size extra large. My brother-in-law is not extra large, but this feels like 100% cotton. It feels like new. My brother-in-law is a hunter. I think this is Ralph Lauren. Lauren Ralph Lauren. And I picked this one up because it is 100% silk. Like I said, guys, nothing has been processed. Normally, I share everything after I have listed it and nothing is listed at this point. This is Lulu's. This is a Lulu's size medium dress. It looks like this. Uh-oh. Oh, gosh. You guys, just noticed right here, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, there is a little rip. Hopefully that can be, I think I can repair that. I did like this because of that cherry print, but there's my first flaw, which inevitably is going to happen. I do, uh, I do pick up flawed items and I'm not even aware of it. This is Spanx and this is size medium Spanx. These are a denim distressed pull on skinny with a raw hem. So yeah, I love selling Spanx and I love finding Spanx in the bins. Um, this is Polo Ralph Lauren. This is a blue label. You guys, is this men's or women's? This is a size medium. Looks like it would fit me. This is a pink cable knit Polo Ralph Lauren, and it does have the little pony emblem on it, so I got that. I get all seasons at the bins. Next up, 
is a free people. Oh, this one is good. This one is, uh, I say it's good because you see it right there. This is new with tags. I did not find very much new with tags on this trip. My last trip to Tucson, I found a lot of new with tags. So this is, let me read the what it is. This is the Turquoise Mirage in size small free people. Um, wow, it looks like a lot of sweaters. This one feels like linen. And I think this is Pure Jill, J. Jill, and this is Size Large, J. Jill, little sweater. And shall we check the contents? I need to go through this quickly. Um, this is Linen Cotton, Modal, and Rayon. And I like the color of this one. So I think that Linen Modal Blend, Modal is super soft. Okay, this one, I remember this one because this one is Angora. Let me check. Sorry, guys. Hold, hold, hold. This one is Angora Wool and Nylon, um, but I wasn't familiar with the brand. I've never sold this brand. Love Stitch. Are you guys familiar with this brand? So this is a lightweight sweater, and it is a hoodie. I looked it over. I didn't see any holes offhand. Uh, this is a bra. I pick up lots of bras. You're going to see lots of bras in this haul. Maybe not in this box. I'm not sure what's in this box, but this is a front closure bra. The brand is All in Motion, and that is Target. <laughs> but I pick up Target at the bins. Uh, this is a silk dress. This is J. Crew. This is 100% silk J. Crew, size 8. It's got spaghetti strings on. Oh, it was freshly dry cleaned. So that's nice. Striped dress. You see that? Um, yeah, that's in pretty good condition. I'm going to set that aside. <laughs> All right, next up, what are you? This is like a crinkle fabric. This is Lucky Brand. Okay, I picked this one up because it's Lucky Brand and it is a larger size. This is a 2X. It's in really nice condition too. Kind of a peplum style top with a flutter sleeve on it. Oh my gosh, I have it like a frog in my throat that wasn't there before I turned the camera on. Next up is Theory. So this is this is a good size too. Theory size large. This is a real lightweight sweater. It is. It does have some stripes, those horizontal stripes on it. It's kind of a pinkish tan color. My lights are not that good. Anyway, um, next up is a this is a heavyweight hoodie. It is a quarter zip hoodie, and this is Free People. Haven't looked up the style on this one, but yeah, it was Free People at the bins. Is it stained? Oh gosh, I hope it's not, but yeah, if it is, I will soak it in OxyClean and get it snow white. This is Rails. This is Rails size small. I picked this up because I found it at the bins. This is just a plaid button up, long sleeve rails. I have not had luck selling rails. I like these shirts myself and I have one of my from my personal collection and uh, it has not sold. It's been listed for a long time. Okay, this is, this, um, this smells like bud. <laughs> Someone carried their weed in this bag. I don't know. Um, <laughs> I don't know how to get that smell out. I might have to just air this bag out. This is kind of, I think it's sort of a green tint. Um, this is a fossil bag, guys. Let me see if I can find the, it's in really good condition. And I saw this bag and I thought of my friend Michelle here uh, in my hometown. She's looking for a little leather crossbody bag. So I found this and I'm gonna see if she wants it. Um, but yeah, it does, it does have an odor to it. Um, it's not a bad odor, but okay, here's a dress. This is Adriana Papel and this is a size 16 W. Adriana Papel, it's kind of a special occasion, off the shoulder dress. What do you call these dresses? I thought these were bandage dresses where they have all that layering. It's a really pretty like olive colored, but like a shimmery olive color. So, yeah, I picked up more than my fair share of special occasion dresses. This is a chambray dress by Madewell. This is an older Madewell tag. I don't remember. I did look at the 
date code on this dress and it is a little bit older but just a real simple chambray dress does it have it has pockets it's a size four made well all right next up this is kind of a tech uh, outdoor dress by the brand title nine what size were you a size medium real pretty pink pattern it does have pockets and the pockets are zip pockets so that's kind of nice so these outdoor dresses are more in demand as the weather is warming up so I was happy to find that oh okay I've got two of these guys I'll show them to you together I may list them together this is a brand I love to sell Mary Mecco and these are a size small so this is um, not exactly what I had hoped to find in this brand Mary Mecco but the brand does really well for me so I thought I would try these really basic like three-quarter length t-shirts this one is in a pink and black and it does have almost a boat neck on it they're exactly the same i'm sure they were the same donor next up, this is pretty this reminds me of the marilyn monroe dress it's a halter dress in yellow um chiffon <laughs> this is going to be a really pretty dress on and it's a great size if i remember this is maggie london and it is a size 16 Looks like it's in really good shape. A lot of times these special occasion dresses are in good shape because people only wear them once before they donate them. The longer length ones might have a little damage to the, the hem, but the shorter ones tend to be in pretty good condition. I don't know this brand. Do you guys know this brand? Ashworth? Does it? The size has been removed, I think. This is a cashmere sweater in a really pretty like soft orange color. I normally pick up cashmere when I find it at the bins. I did not look that up. I picked it up simply because it was cashmere. This was such a fun find. Um, look at this print, guys. This is sailboats and anchors and let me see, can I get this? Okay, it's a dress and it is a halter style dress like this. And the brand on this dress is Postmark by Anthropology. I forgot what size. This is a U.S. size 2. It does have a smocking detail, if you can see that in the back. And a hidden zipper in the back. Really cute dress. Perfect for this season. I did find some fun dresses. Not as many dresses as I had hoped to find. I'm not sure about this. I remember this t-shirt, Save the Earth. It's kind of a longer length too. Maybe a sleep shirt. And I'm not familiar with this brand. A Kemi. No size on this. I was going to try this at Buy Sell Trade. Uh, I think this one is also by Cell Trade. Yeah, this is Banana Republic, and it is a size small, super lightweight, burnout, long sleeve that says beautiful. Okay, next up, this one is Zara. I do remember that. This is a an olive green satin, like cropped bomber style jacket with zipper detail. See those zipper pockets in the front? It is a hoodie, it looks like this. Forget what size you are, let's check it out. This is a Zara size US medium. This is what the tag looks like. So that is a newer Zara tag and it appears to be in really good condition, so that's good. Okay, I'm not sure about this one. This is Garnet Hill, it's a size 10. And I thought this was a skirt. But I think this is a bathing suit bottom. This is fully lined, and I think it's a bathing suit bottom. I don't normally pick up separates. I think I picked up a couple. I try to avoid them. And um, so, anyway, a little lace bra. It is little. Emphasis on little. This is Victoria's Secrets, I think. Yes. And the size on this one is a 32B. 30, yeah, 32B. Little bra. I always look for bras in good condition. I like this piece. I would keep it for myself, except it is cropped. So this is a hoodie. It's uh, again in that like tan color hoodie. I see, oh well, it has to be washed. But can you see these 3D stars on it? So I thought that was so fun. Um, there, there's more, yeah, there's some right there. And this is a hoodie. 
and this is Torrid. I found a lot of Torrid on this trip. Torrid size one. I don't know if you can see size one Torrid. So that was a fun find. Another bra here. Who are you? <laughs> uh, the, oh, this is Target. Exhilaration. It's a 38C. I maybe should have skipped this one, but it's in like new condition. So I'm going to go ahead and get that listed because bras sell when they're in good condition. This has got to be buy, sell, trade because, oh, this is 511 Tactical. Uh, my husband found this. You guys, my husband thrifted with me the first day. So really and truly, I maybe had an advantage, but two old people against one young, energetic young lady. Uh, yeah, my husband found this piece for me and I decided to try it out because it is 511 Tactical, a brand I have never tried before. I may take that to buy, sell, trade. I'm not sure. Um, next up is, this is a scarf. I picked this up because I think it's new. New without tags, it's got that on it. Uh, who is the brand? I don't know. I have no idea who this is. I often pick up scarves when I find them in good condition. I wrap bundles in them. I forget who this is, Thread and Supply? Yes, Thread and Supply, size small. And these are, they feel like a rayon, lightweight, kind of a reddish color, wide leg pants. So these will be good for this season. Uh, who are you? Oh, this is, I think, I'm um, buy, sell, trade, guys. Um, they tend to take most of my athletic pieces there. So this is a Nike dry fit. Desperately needs to be cleaned. I think it's like a size extra small, too. Yeah, it's an extra small Nike dry fit. Another t-shirt, more than likely, buy, sell, trade. Yeah, Puma. I'm going to take that to the buy, sell, trade. That's a woman's Puma top with the V-neck. Oh, these my husband got for himself. <laughs> so I'll share them with you. Um, they're not even his size, but he insisted that I pick those up and bring them home. They're Target. This is BCBG. I remember this. And so this is a brand that doesn't do that well for me on Poshmark, but it does really well for me on ThreadUp. And this sweater is so cute. It... It's like a rainbow colored. I love the buttons though. If you can see these wooden buttons that look like flowers. So this one is BCBG Max Azria and it is a size large. I may try to sell this myself because I think it is so cute and I have sold the brand before. It just doesn't move that quickly for me. Uh, next up, oh, this is a Carhartt which I'm going to sell this myself because I have a lot of luck selling Carhartt. This is a Carhartt men's t-shirt, size large. And Buy, Sell, Trade will take it if I'm not able to sell it. Uh, this one also is for Buy, Sell, Trade. This is Tommy Hilfiger, although this is kind of a nice top. What size are you? Size large. This is just a popover top with one chest pocket. It is white cotton with a Swiss dot on it. Um, but the buy sell trade store is filled with uh, Tommy Bahama. Oh, uh, not to Tommy Hilfiger. Sorry about that. Um, so I got this for myself. This is Old Navy and it does have all of the cactus on that. So, oh, I better let me separate that. I'll get that washed for myself. I got this for myself too. This might be pajamas. I don't know. I don't know if I'll keep this or if I'll sell this. I'm not quite sure what it is. I need to look it up. This is a size large, thread and supply, long sleeve, extremely soft star print. You guys may see me film in my pajamas because I like that. Uh, next up, I don't remember who this is. Oh, this is Isaac Mizrahi. This one still has the Goodwill tag on it. The clothing that doesn't sell at the regular Goodwill stores ends up in the outlet. So sometimes it has tags on it. I found that when I was there, most of the clothing that I picked up was raw donations, did not have tags on it. But this one, let me take this off. This one is Isaac Mizrahi for Target. It's a size 12. I sometimes pick up this brand. This one is missing a belt, but... It looks like this. It has pockets. It's a great size. 
So I got that dress. I love selling dresses, so I'm always trying to bring dresses home. My husband found this piece. He was really proud of himself. He found a torrid top for me, a floral. It looks like roses, a bit of a high-low hemline on that one. Um, I said I didn't pick up separates, but here's another separate. That is a little bitty. What size are you? Size small. Um, almost like a boy short meets bikini bottom by pink. This is vintage. That's an old label Talbots, but I did get this because it's a gingham, almost like a houndstooth gingham print on this dress. It was also a good size, a size 16, long. Like I would say this is probably going to be about ankle length and this is in a yellow and white. I thought that was really pretty. I need to get it cleaned up. Oh, this one, I think my husband found this one as well. This is Tommy Bahama, and this is 100% silk Tommy Bahama. Looks like this. It is, what size? A size large. I think that's a good size. So I am going to try to sell this one myself, um, just because I hear people say that they do good with the Tommy Bahama 100% silk. This one is going to buy, sell, trade. This one is Yellowstone, born to ride. What size? Extra large, buy, sell, trade store. Wow, my pile is so big over here. I had it packed so nicely. This one is going to buy, sell, trade. This is Nike Dry Fit, size large. This is just a cropped legging. Oh, this one here, this one, um, this one my husband found. I have a brand new nephew, you guys, and my husband found these little uh, overalls and these are by uh, John Deere and I said what did you get those for and he said he got them for our newest nephew so I the second day that I went to the bins I was by myself my husband didn't go and I picked up a few more things for the baby this is Nike dry fit size extra large going to the buy sell trade store men's shorts Again, I think this is by Sell Trade. Oh, I don't know. You guys let me know what you think about this. This is a Champion long sleeve. Yeah, there's Champion long sleeve. I picked up several of these Champion spell out uh, tops. I don't know. I didn't even look to see how they did on Poshmark. I did notice that a lot of the thrifters in the bins were wearing Champion gear. Um, so I don't know. I don't know if it's a good pickup, but I picked up several of them. My husband found this one as well. Hollister, size 31. Distressed denim. They're in a black wash. Shorts. Okay, more shorts. These are American Eagle. They look like this. They're a really short short, but they don't have the... That's the American Eagle. Normally on the shorts, they say, well, on all of their styles, they say somewhere on the interior waistband what the style is, and these do not say that. These are a size 8, and they're from 2010. So this is, I don't know. I don't know if that was a good pickup. I may pull out that date code and uh, take them to buy, sell, trade. Okay, my husband found this as well. I told him to look for bras, and I like to pick up larger size bras. This is my favorite bra that I ended up getting. This is by the brand Cacique, and this is in really, really nice condition. It's kind of a satin uh, fabric on it. <laughs> I think it is a lot of fun. So I found that one. That's it. Oh, I have a lot of bras in here. Uh, this one looks pretty plain, but it is a larger size, a white bra. This one, I will give an it's Glamorize and it's a 44D. This one is going to get an Oxy bath. And this one is kind of small. This is a strapless bra in really good condition. The Oh, it's a Macy's brand. This is a Macy's house brand, INC. Uh, yeah, this looks like a really comfortable bra. And it's just a little strapless bra. So I got that one. Any more bras? This one is also buy, sell, trade, guys. So I'm not selling everything. Where's the tag? Oh, I don't know if... Oh, here it is. This is Adidas. Look at that size tag. What does it say? 15 to 16 Y. 176. I don't know what that means. But this is just kind of a pair of track pants. 
with the three stripes down the side and it does zip at the ankles that is going to buy sell trade oh my gosh i'm gonna have to cut the video for a moment one one piece bathing suit this one's really cute huh um so this one is by the brand slim allure it's a pretty good size as well i think this might be vintage it's a size 12 and with bathing suits, always take them and stretch them at the bins to make sure none of the uh, elastic has uh, rotted. Um, okay, we're getting to something really, really good. I didn't know it was in this uh, box, but I'm excited to share it with you. Um, this is going to buy, sell, trade. This is a Nike tank. Wow, a lot of this is buy, sell, trade, guys. I am sorry. You're going to have to tune in um, to a future video to see most of the stuff that I am selling. This was kind of a fun find. Um, this is like a satin camisole tank. does have adjustable straps on it. And this is by the brand Florite. And what did they want for it? $2.49. I don't go through tank tops at the regular thrift store. If I come across them in the bins, I will pick them up. This is 100% silk and this is an anthropology brand. So yeah, I think, okay, I, I think I can do well with that tank top. Guys, I am going to stop the video for one second and I am going to steam my next find because this might be the best find of the entire trip. I know it was just a second for you, but this piece really deserves to be shown in all its glory. Guys, I did not find this piece. My husband found this piece. I have to give him credit. The way we did it is he thrifted with me for the first day for three rounds, and we both had our own cart. I told him what I was looking for. He filled his cart. I filled my cart. And when they were rotating bins, I went through his items and threw most of them back, guys. He filled his cart with Liz Claiborne, a lot of Walmart things, uh, some cute stuff but not items that really had a lot of resale value and then he found this and he was just a tickled and so proud of himself and I am so proud of him for finding Johnny was this is a size medium Johnny was now he is familiar with this brand because he has found this brand Johnny was in the bins in Phoenix for me once before so this is what the top looks like this it feels like silk. It is not silk. This is 100% polyester. It is just this mixed print fabric. Is that... No, no, no. Is that a stain there? Looks like some kind of discoloration right there, right? Oh my gosh. Maybe, th hopefully that's from me just steaming it and that dries out. This is still just a tad... Oh my gosh. Okay, it's still wonderful, right? It's still wonderful with its imperfections. Let's see, this is what the back looks like. You guys are looking at it with me for kind of the second time I just looked at this in the bins. I don't know, I don't know about that. Uh, I'm going to, maybe I'll just wash it and see see what we think about that. But yeah, this is the grand finale, guys. Uh, this is Johnny Was at the bins in Phoenix, Arizona. So this was, it made my day. It's always fun to find Johnny Was wherever you can find it. So guys, you'll have to let me know in the comments, who is the bins queen? Is it Francis in Seattle or do I get to wear the crown? Kelly in Phoenix, please let us know in the comments below. Make sure that you go visit Francis' channel, subscribe to her channel, show her some love and give this video a thumbs up if you guys want to see everything else. My total that I picked up was 118 pounds. That's what I brought home. So there's a few more videos coming of Bins Hauls. I can't wait to share everything. Guys, the shoes. Phoenix delivered. They haven't had shoes in a while and Phoenix delivered on the shoes. I'm so excited to share those with you. So subscribe, thumbs up, and I'll see you very soon. Blessings.